I'm starting off this DIY project with Dollar Tree chopping mats. This is a requested video and this is what I'm going to be recreating. Now I will be using other items, but I will start with the chopping mats. I'm going to use two that are in the pack and rolling it to the size that I want. To keep the shape in place, you can either glue it down or staple it. I did this for both chopping mats and I will hold them together with the transparent tape. I'm going to keep this aside and take wooden dowels that I got from Walmart. I'll be using really slim dowels for this project. Now I took them out and I spray painted them silver. The sizes are a little bit different because they are dowels that I already had at home. I decided to just use them the way they are because they won't be that noticeable. I'm going to be applying glue at the top and at the bottom of the chopping mats to attach the dowels to it. I used 10 dowels for this project and I did my best to make sure that they're all spaced out evenly. Now that I'm done with this, I'm going to keep it aside and take Dollar Tree paper towel holders and attaching dowels to them with zip ties. And when I'm sure that it's all firm and sturdy, I'm gonna take it out and spray paint the dowels silver. The dowels that the cell mostly come in one length, so I did not cut it at all. I just attached the paper towel holder at the top and at the bottom of the dowels. After I spray painted it silver, I let it dry and then attached the base to a round wooden board for more stability. I pre-drilled holes on the round wooden board 
and the dowels as well. Now for the dowels, it's very important to always pre-trill your holes so that they don't crack. To protect the floor from scratching, I'm going to be adding pads that's self-adhesive at the back. I also took this out and I spray painted it silver. Now the main item to give me the design that I want will be gold plated plastic spoons. These are the larger sizes so I got these from Amazon and I will leave a link for them down in the description box below. I simply just snapped off the top of the spoons because that's the only part that I'll be using for this project and I used three packs for this DIY. These are going to be glued to what I had made earlier. Cutting the spoon into half to fill up this top here will not work. So what I did was to use the base of the spoons and cut a little part from there and attach them to the open spaces. I realized the last minute that I don't really need this top part here, so I took it off. Now with this out of the way, I can easily insert what I just made to this. I made sure I arranged the dolls at the bottom to fit the round ring that's on the paper towel holder. And then I marked three dolls and attached them to the base with screws. For the lamp, I would love to have some sort of lid at the top. So this is a round box that I had cut into the shape that I want. Now I'm going to be covering the top with mirror reflective paper that's in gold. Now this is going to be holding the lighting and this is a remote control push light. I'll be gluing on an acrylic gem at the middle to make it easy to have it open when you want to change the battery. The base of the floor lamp is going to be covered with gems and I'll be using Mod Podge to attach the gems to the base. Here's what the floor lamp now looks like. I love the versatility of this because you can use this on the table and on the floor as well.
Thank you guys so much for watching. I have other home decor DIY videos that are linked in the description box below to check them out. And for those of you who have not subscribed to my channel, don't forget to click on the subscribe button.